Hi there. Right, today we're just going to show you the quick assembly procedure for the Hardy Spicer coupling joints. Here's the latest uh, CNC machined rear section and these are the front section. So we're literally going to show you how the joint goes together. Okay, first then, here's the joint. Heavy duty, genuine GKN joint. We'll just pop the caps off the end see the rollers inside and also it's got a little black thrust block in the bottom so take one off one side spin him round spin the one off the other side keep the rollers in place okay right first job then is to place this inside in position okay right we've actually manufactured a jig here to put them together so we slide this down into the jig like so take one of the bearing caps we now push the actual cross part up into the bearing like so and then with a the hammer we just tap the bearing down into position circle it Pop circle into place, one half is now finished. So take it out of the jig, turn it over, back into the jig. You'll notice there's a peg there just to keep it upright, perfectly vertical. Drop him onto the peg, take the second needle roller cage, pop it into the joint. Now lift the joint up so that it's locating on the rollers and then Tap him into place, another circlip, circlip there, it's not actually gone into position so we just use a punch, pop it into place and there we go, there's another one assembled now. So what we've got to do next is take the two bearings off there, push this one over the top press the bearings in and then we'll have a complete joint. We'll pop him down on here. We don't need a jig for this one because it'd be too cumbersome. So we'll start the bearing off. Tap him into place. Okay, now here's the tricky part. You've got to put that side of the crucifix into the female and at the same time you've got to push the male end into the bearing like so. Right once you've got it into there pop him back onto the top of the jig like so. Turn him over bearing again locating the diameter now bring the male part up into the bearing like so and then tap down like so. So that's assembled but we've just got to put the circlips in. So we're leaving there, one circlip. Like so. That one you'll notice has gone straight in. Another circlip. We're just going to need to tap that one down. And there we go, there's your joint complete. Right, so there we have it. There's the complete joint assembled. Um, we don't send these in, out in component form, so you won't have to assemble them yourselves. But if you ever do get a problem where you need to put new bearings in, we keep the bearings, the circlips. If you have a damaged female or a damaged male, we can supply spares. But normally they come as a pair, fully assembled, like so.